Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just something you guys that I see by the thousands. I mean, you guys are probably guilty of it. Your colleagues are all doing it. Um, when it comes to what your coaches are telling you, what your broker is probably telling you regarding social media, when it comes to social media and marketing your real estate business, I truly believe after looking at thousands and thousands of pages, okay, when you come to my friend list, over here on my personal page, every single one of them except for one, and it's a public list. You can look at all my friends. I keep it at 5,000, but then I'll always unfriend a few here and there um, just so I can request new ones, You know, maybe, maybe agents that, I, that never reply to my message. Every single one of you guys either purchased my book, you either downloaded a copy of my book, you either scheduled an appointment with me, or we even maybe even chatted. Um, and so people that I don't end up getting that far with um, and, and, and friends that I, that I kind of don't think will ever do business in the future, I'll unfriend. And I'll always just keep this number at 5,000. So I'm back down to 4934. Four, four, I'll get it back up to 5,000. Every single one of them is a real estate agent, except for one who is my actual wife. It's a public list. You can check out you know, every single one of my friends. So this is what I've been seeing since 2016, since I, re since I started requesting a ton of you guys. Um, and, then just, and then since then, just seeing how everyone's marketing their listings, how everyone's promoting their open house, how everyone's trying to market their, their overall real estate business. I've been seeing it by the thousands, okay? When it comes to social media, when it comes specifically to Facebook alone, okay? Um, and so a lot, of, a lot of agents are being taught by their coaches, by their brokers, by their personal development gurus that, you know, going Facebook Live on your property is what you do, right? And shout out to every single one of you guys that are doing this. And if it's, if it's netting you that ROI, then keep doing what you're doing. But after, after speaking to literally countless of agents since 2016 on this exact topic, and after having thousands of agents on my personal Facebook page, 99% of them do not see any kind of ROI, at least a measurable one. At least, okay, if we go Facebook Live every day, we get 15 people that comment, and every single comment, those people are in our local area, and those are all people who are looking to buy or sell. If it's like that for you, okay, great. But chances are your friend list consists of thousands like mine and 99% of that list lives across the country. So as a person is going Facebook live, I'm seeing this. Where's Kelly located? Kelly is located in, I'm in California. I'm friends with Kelly on faith. Actually, we might be friends. We might not. Yeah, we're friends. Um, and she is, and again, this is step one. This is what I talk about in my book. You know, um, there's step one, everything's missing. But then when I click about to try to dig deeper and see where she's at, now I got to dig deeper. Okay, so she's, in, she's in, in South Carolina. So again, most agents are simply across the country. Most of the people that are seeing your content, and, and it, whether it's Facebook, whether it's, it's Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, it's all the same. Whether you're now dancing on TikTok and you're trying to build a buzz on TikTok because you love to dance and now all of a sudden people are following you, 99% of them live across the country. So it's like, as you start to promote this listing, as you start to promote this open house with a Facebook Live, I'm just saying, rather than doing that, if you wanna do that, fine. If it's, if it's netting you something, okay, fine. But for those of you that I've spoken to where that's not doing anything for your business, um, what I suggest is simply taking that same content and rather than doing it, shooting the, ver the, the video vertical. That's what this guy did right here. Shout out to Jim, right intention. Every single one of you, all of us entrepreneurs, we all are trying. We all have the right intention, right? I'm just here to help you and guide you a, through a different path because it's, it's easier than most, 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 most know. This stuff is easy, you guys. You're already, do you're already, you're already putting in the effort. Shout out to Jim. He's already doing the video. Let me just kind of show you a different, a, a, a different path to take it down, okay? So number one, rather than shooting this vertical shot, shoot horizontal. Hold the phone horizontal, okay? That's, that's widescreen view. That's the difference between seeing this one and I see the border on the left and right versus seeing another one left and right versus seeing a video like 
it, well, it would be like this. It'd be widescreen, just like that picture. Let me see. This is more of a square, but at least I don't see any border, right? Um, that most likely was shot on a, on a professional camera, but 100% on your cell phone. That's all you need. Look, that's, well, actually, that's a, that's a slideshow type of video, but let me show you. Let me see if I can even find one. Actually, that's more of a slideshow, you know, type of video, not really a real video. I'm, I'm looking for a raw video on someone's cell phone, which, which are the type of videos that you guys should be making. You guys should be making videos every day. Um, this, this could have been, well, that's actually TV. Look, Jennifer, I'm telling you, all of you guys are going live. All of you guys are going live. But you get my point on the, on, the, on the horizontal. Let's look at this really quick. You guys already know what the heck she's talking about, okay? You, you guys already know what that video was about. She's out there in – I'm her friend on Facebook. I'm seeing that. She's out there in, in Breck, Breckenridge, Colorado. She's doing a Facebook Live. That listing is out there. And all I'm saying is that when it comes to social media marketing and when it comes to social media – it doesn't matter if this was Facebook, if it was LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, or Instagram. It does not matter. As you scale this number up into the thousands, I'm here to tell you, Jen, 99% of your 4996 do not live in your area. But yet, <clears throat> but yet we're being taught to go Facebook Live and say we're doing something. It's like, dude, like, Okay, 11 people are watching it. I'll be the 12th. They're all across the country. Now, even if you're the most popular, even if you say, David, you know what? I beg to differ. I'm 55 years old. I've lived, I, I was raised, I was born in this town. And I've been here since day one. I've been a real estate agent for the past 35 years. And I know this entire town. Okay, if that's you, I'll give it to you. But you don't have 4996. You probably have, let's say, 1,300, and in every single one of you, you know, I've spoken to thousands and thousands of agents on this exact topic since 2016, okay? And not one has ever told me that, not one, not one, because it's not true. It don't matter if you've been in your town forever. I've been in my town forever, San Diego, been here since day one, three million people. I don't even know a 1,000. I don't even know my neighbors. So it's like, <clears throat> you got to be the mayor. You got to be a celebrity. You got to be The Rock or Jennifer Lopez to, to, to have thousands of people who are following you on social media organically that live in your backyard. Like if that's where you were born and raised, like Bruno Mars from Hawaii. On his Facebook page, he probably has thousands of people that follow him that live in Hawaii. It's a freaking celebrity. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but you're probably not. You're probably not a celebrity. So chances are, I'll give her the 1%. If she's been in her town forever with those big numbers, 55, 35 years licensed, okay, 1% of 49996 are people you actually know. But the majority of them, you guys, I'm telling you, she's showing me this listing when no one cares. No one on this friend list. No one on that Instagram list. No one on that LinkedIn connection. No one. So I'm telling you, that's what I see by the thousands. That's what obviously all of you guys are doing. Here's what I'm saying. Rather than doing that, okay, rather, rather than doing that, you already did the video. The content is already there. All you're going to do is you're going to come over here. <clears throat> excuse me. You're going to click on create. You're going to click on add. Video posted on the business page text written out 
a few emojis, excuse me guys, a few emojis, making that post look good, right? Once you post it on the business page, then you're gonna come over here to your ads manager and do this from a computer. Don't be trying to do this from, do this from your cell phone. Do this from a computer and, and let's go back to Jen. Shout out to Jen, I don't mean to pick on you, but it's, you know, it is what it is. This is what you guys are all doing, I already know it. And, and, and we all know it. I'm just saying with the same content, with the same video, come back here to your ads manager. This is where all the magic happens. Make sure you always check that box for housing and you're going to come over here and you're going to run a video view ad on that property. Now that's to get people to view the video. Okay. Now, if you guys are looking for leads, which I would assume every single one of you are, then you would run that video under conversions. Okay. Under conversions. Now that's if you have a landing page, a landing page is a simple one pager. Let's say for example, here's the video, right? We got the text and it's an actual ad. When you go, when you go look at, let's go to, um, let's go look at an ad. When you look at any ad, we scroll down, there goes sponsored, there goes learn more. You're running a conversions ad, you guys, up here, you're running a conversions ad if the moment I click on learn more, if, and this is where you should be taking them, 100% of you guys should be taking people to where I'm about to show you. 99% of you guys don't, okay? 99% of you, when I click on it, you're bringing me to some random website, something similar to this. A bunch of stuff going on, all the text, nowhere to fill out the form. There is no form. Nowhere to capture the lead on your end, right? Majority of you, you'll take me to something like this or you'll take me to some fancy Keller Williams website, right? Where there's a million things going on. Um, and you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. Here's, here's where you wanna take them and I'll end it here. That video, if you're looking to capture a lead and take them off of, off of Facebook, and there's a couple different ways we can capture a lead. We can capture a lead with conversions if we're taking them off Facebook. So for example, when I see this ad, you're targeting, the reason why we're running an ad, first of all, is so we can target that location, you guys. Look, this person is smart. They are targeting me. I'm in the Chula Vista area. Look, this is a real ad that I'm seeing in my newsfeed as I speak. This business, this company, this person, I don't know who they are, I don't follow them, they're running a sponsored ad targeting me. Now, where they're totally off is the fact that I'm nowhere in the market, but at the same time, the location, that's my area. So when I click on learn more, let's see where they are taking me. They're taking me to a Facebook form. If you don't have an outside landing page, which is I'll show you what that is, this is one way you capture leads. This is the other way you capture leads, and that would be lead generation. So when you run a lead generation ad, you're using Facebook's form to gather that information. The only reason why I don't normally use this option is because once Facebook captures the information, then that lead is imported into Facebook. Then I got to go to my business page and download that lead into a CSV file or an Excel, an Excel spreadsheet file. I have to download that off of Facebook and then upload it into some CRM. So most of you have some type of CRM. What you need is an email autoresponder. That's what you need. So if you're doing it this way, you would download that lead. So you'd have to micromanage it. There's a few steps involved. It's just more physical effort than I care to put, put in. I don't want to do any of that. And so I for sure don't want to do it for any, any client. So that's why I kind of stay away from lead generation. But a lot of you guys don't have landing pages. You have these other type of websites or you're, or you're trying to go Facebook Live and, and, and get someone to comment when it's like, no, you take that same ad, okay? Let's close out this form really quick. You take that same listing, right? You run it to that backyard and you take them either to that form, which, is, which that one's gonna be lead generation, or if you're running conversions, the moment I see that ad, I click learn more and you're bringing me to something like this. One single page, okay? One page, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. A few bullet points, view all 17 photos now. 
That's how you capture the lead, you guys. That's how you capture the lead. So back to the first gentleman, Jim. He's doing a Facebook Live. Back to Jennifer. She's doing a Facebook Live, okay? And 99% of the 4996 who are seeing it live across the country. I'm one of them, okay? That could have been done on her business page. If we go to her business page, these are most likely not her business pages, but actually this probably is her business page. We come over to her business page. She has 49 likes. I don't know her, right? She's just a random friend on, on social media. That's what we are. You guys that are friends with me on Facebook, you don't know me. I don't know you either. If you're following me on Instagram, do we really know each other? If you're connected with me on LinkedIn, if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, do we really know each other? Not at all, man. Not at all. And so in my book, this is also step two. So if, if we spoke, you know, I mentioned this to you. Step two, step one is listing all your links. And again, if you haven't read the book or if you need to read the book again, I'll provide a link of a, a free download. Download the book and read my, my updated version, okay, 2020. Download that one below, okay? I'll put a link below. But that's step two, man. I click on your, I click on, I click on the business page. I come over and it's such a low light count, okay? Such a low light count. But here's what I'm saying is that, um, 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 where was I at? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Right here, let's go back to, let's go back to Jennifer. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna post this video on the, on the business page and then you run the ad from the business page. Okay, I lost my train of thought. I'll bring, I'll get it back. But for sure, that post goes over here first. The moment we click on learn more, rather than take them to some random website, you're bringing them to one single page where you capture the lead. And again, the, oh, that's what I was gonna say. The reason why I do it this way and, to, and, and run a conversions ad, that's for when you're taking them to a landing page. The reason why I do that is so I can capture the lead and that lead is automatically sent to my email autoresponder. So all that is happening while I'm sleeping, all that is happening while I'm playing with my kids, all, that ha all that's happening while I'm out with my family, it's all automated from the Facebook ad to them clicking and coming to my landing page to them wanting more information on that exact listing. And this happens to be someone living two miles away from me. Okay. Once I capture the lead, that lead is then in my CRM, AKA email autoresponder. That's how that person is going to get information on that listing right away. You're not going to sit here and physically email everyone, or you're not going to sit here and physically reply to your Facebook comments and whoever DMs you gets the address. No, we want to capture leads. That's what I'm saying. Stop Mickey Mouse it and going Facebook live when no one cares. Take that same video, run either a video view ad to capture a custom audience or run a conversions off the bat. If you're running a conversions and taking them to a landing page, that's what you want to be doing. And the, again, the reason why I do it this way is so all this, all this is automated. From the moment they, they see that Facebook ad to the moment they actually opt in to the moment that lead is then in my CRM and my email autoresponder to the moment that email autoresponder is emailing them on my behalf all while I'm sleeping, okay? That's how you capture leads. And it all starts from that video. You guys already have the content. You're already willing to get on video with these Facebook Lives. Just direct it. Spend a few bucks, come back here and run an ad and target that location of Colorado, Jen. Your 4996, none of those friends care. I'm one of them, no disrespect. I'm just not in the area, right? I'm in California. so. The only people that need to be seeing your content, your, your biggest ROI in 2020 is when you start putting away a few bucks per week. Stop going to Starbucks. Stop spending money on bullshit. Put that towards your advertising, aka your Facebook ad campaign, because I'm telling you, what Jennifer could have done with this Facebook or with this video, right? She could have literally ran that. Put it this way. I tell this to my clients all the time. I say, John... If I took you out to lunch today, this is what I tell my clients, real estate clients all the time. I say, John, look, another person, Janelle, going Facebook Live. Like, look at that, man. Now, obviously, she's probably talking about the virus or whatever. I just saw Lysol, Clorox. 
Yeah. See, she's talking about an open house, right? Or a listing. She's doing a walkthrough and she's being cute with the Clorox. I'm telling you. And look how she's holding the phone vertical. It looks ugly because of the borders. Hold it widescreen. Okay. Hold it widescreen, but I'm not talking about Facebook Live. You're already doing it. You're already doing it. What's her name? Janelle, Janella. You're already doing it, Janella. But instead of that, we're running an ad. And I tell my friends, I say, John, if I took you out to lunch today, I would spend, I, I would most likely pay for it, right? Because that's just the type of friend I am. I'll treat, right? I'll most likely pay for it. I will pay for it. And guess what, John? I'll end up spending more at lunch today just by taking you than I would spend running a Facebook ad for the entire week. Because me and John love to eat. Even if I take my wife out, we love to eat, get a couple of drinks or whatever. What Before you know, my bill is 70 bucks. If I ran this video ad, let's just say, let, let's call it 70 bucks, $10 a day for seven days. That's what I want you to, <clears throat> to allocate. 70 bucks a week. That's the budget. Okay. $10 a day, seven days. Do you understand that that $70 would have had thousands of people in my local area where that property is listed at? Okay. Where that property <clears throat> is listed at. I would have had thousands of people see it. And when they click, they would have came to this one page right here and they would have opted in. And I would have captured leads of interested buyers in my local backyard with the same effort that I put in to make that damn video in the first place. Okay. Now, again, I truly believe a lot of us, we, we want to say, oh, David, $70 a week. Are you kidding? It's like, dude, you guys blow my mind. Most of you make seven to 10 grand per deal and you're, and you're, and you're, and you're scared to spend 500 bucks a month on a Facebook campaign. Blows my mind. Blows my mind still to this day after speaking to thousands of you guys, you know? So <clears throat> I'm just trying to say, step it up in 2020. This is where you need to be, be, be at. <clears throat> we need to be driving them straight to a landing page, capturing the lead. That lead is then put into an email autoresponder where that list is being nurtured and emailed every other day. And here's how those emails would look. Just to give you an example, and I'll end it here. And I got a surprise for you guys, for all of you that stay to the end, I have a surprise for you. That person in that local area saw the listing. They saw the video. They clicked on learn more. It brought them to the landing page. They opted in. They clicked the blue button and right away, hey, John, thank you so much for inquiring. Here's all the information on the property. And that email autoresponder instantly, automatically shoots that email and it's all the specs of the property, address, location, community, details your phone number, your contact info, all of that is shot out in the first email, right? That's email number one. Email number two is gonna go out tomorrow. Hey John, just wanted to follow up. This is Stacy. I know yesterday <clears throat> you inquired on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Just wanna let you know the property is still on the market. So many people are wanting to see it this weekend. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time to chat. Can't wait to talk to you, John. Have a great day. That's an email <clears throat> that automatically went out the next day. Two days later, hey, John, this is Stacy. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, remember the property that you inquired on a few days ago, 77 Plaza Boulevard? Guess what, man? I didn't think it was going to be sitting on the market this long. We're already a week or so in. You better schedule your time now. I cannot wait to show it to you. Let me tell you a little bit about this property. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Talk to you then, John. That's email number three. Email number four, he still hasn't replied or he hasn't scheduled a time to call. A time to call. <clears throat> email number four, hey, John, and this could be three days later. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. This is Stacy. Hey, you, want, you know what? Guess what? 777 Plaza Boulevard, I knew it wasn't going to last that long. A beautiful family out of you know, Arizona purchased the property and they're going to be moving in. We handed over the, we're going to be handing over the keys and they're going to be moving in in a few weeks. But let me tell you what. I have a handful of more listings that fit that criteria that you may want to take a look at. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time to talk. Can't wait to talk to you, John. You guys, that's how you nurture the leads, man. <clears throat> that's, how you, <clears throat> that's how you capture leads. That's how you do social media marketing in 2020. Stop making mouse in it with all this other random stuff that I know is not working for you. Okay, so here's what I got for you guys. Those of you that stay to the end, right below... I'm giving you this funnel, okay? Now, here's what I'm giving you. I already created the page, this entire page, so you can edit this. This is super basic, super easy, easy to edit, but 
it can it can it can match the images whatever all this stuff could be easily easily edited the bullet points the bullet points the color you can change all that but the template is there you can replace the image in the background um all that is there what i'm also providing is the form so as they click on the blue button this form pops up this is how you capture the lead that's why you can't drive traffic over here to some other random website there's nowhere to capture the lead um and most of your websites, the moment I go to it, there's like 15 other listings. And before you know it, I'm clicking on this, clicking on that, clicking on that, and then I got to go. And, and you didn't capture the lead. So stop sending them to these fancy websites. You need to take, take them to one page where we can capture the lead. Once that person clicks on, send me the details. Here's what happens next. This is on one specific property, okay? When I click on send me the details or when that lead, cap, lead, lead comes in and, and they click on that button, they're taken to what we call a thank you page, okay? This right here, you guys, I don't care if you're not comfortable with video. I don't care if you're not a video person. I don't care. What I'm telling you right now, get over it. Get over it. Get over it. We're entrepreneurs. We're building a freaking business in 2020. Social media is here. It is, is ours for the taking. Get over it, all right? You got to put yourself on camera right here. Hey, guys, this is John or this is David, just wanted to say hello and put a face to, to, to the listing agent here. This is a beautiful property, 777 Plaza Boulevard. Let me kind of introduce myself and tell you a little bit about what, what we got going on here. This right here, you guys, would be a 60 second little, I don't want to call it a pitch video. It's not a pitch video, but you're going to introduce yourself and you're going to tell them more about the listing, number two. And then number three, you're going to get them to click the button below, okay? That's it. That's it. That's it. Straight from a Facebook ad targeting that local area running 24 seven while you're sleeping, clicking on the landing page to capture the lead, taking them to a thank you page where it's you on video, pull out your cell phone, get a little tripod, get a little tripod. In fact, I'll, I'll include a link for that too. Let me show you mine. This right here, man, get a simple little tripod and put this little bad boy on your desk and, and, and hold your phone like this and simply put it to the side and just record. I'm telling you, it's that basic. It's that, that basic. But what I'm saying is that this is your chance to really shine and really put a face to it. Once you put that face on, on, on camera and once people say, damn, okay, that person's a real person. It's a completely different connection, you guys. I'm telling you, that. that's why most of you, all of you that are seeing this video, you're seeing everything about David. It's like, that's a completely different connection that all of a sudden I have with you guys, right? Because it's a video. This is, you are just as powerful. Like there ain't nothing powerful about me at all. It's, 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 it's the power of visual. It, it's, the, it's the power of visuals. That's what it is. It's video, it's camera, it's visuals. And, and, and once, once P, and that's why video marketing is so powerful because if you're targeting that location with your video and every week there's a new ad, a new video going to my local community after a few videos, you guys, that whole town's going to know who the hell you are. The whole town, man, that's how it happens. That's video marketing. That's indoctrination. People become indoctrinated with your content because you keep showing yourself and you're actually bringing value. They become indoctrinated. Okay, so <clears throat> that's, that's first and foremost. But again, clicking learn more, <clears throat> taking them straight to a landing page where they opt in, and now this is you on camera. Thank you so much. Introduction, uh, about the, uh, an introduction and thanking them, right? You're introducing yourself, you're thanking them. Number two, you're talking about that listing. Number three, you're getting them to schedule a call. That's it. That's it, you guys. It's a two-page website. No more of this crap over here, okay? No more Facebook Live. And I'm telling you, I'm only talking crap to the Facebook Livers that aren't producing, right? If, if, if you're not producing, I'm telling you why. If that, if that Facebook Live, let me go back to um, this one. If that Facebook Live is not doing nothing for you, I'm talking to you guys, okay? Um, but if it is, don't fix what ain't broken, right? Keep doing what you're doing. Hat off to you. But for those of you that it's not, you're not seeing an ROI from, from doing any of that. I'm telling you why. It's going to a market that doesn't care. Once we target in that local market and we start running ads directly to that local market and we take them to one page 
right? In the ad, you can mention something about 17, video, 17 photos. Mention that in the text in the ad, right? That's what what's gets them thinking, okay, damn, let me see all these pictures. That's what brings them over here, you know, it's enticing. So it, it starts with that ad and then boom, you guys, right here, get them to schedule the call. Click here to schedule your showing. So I'm providing the landing page, okay? Here's the good news. So for all of you that stay to the end, here's the good news. I'm providing the landing page. I'm providing the thank you page. I'm also providing, when they click here, they go straight to your calendar, okay? All this can be edited, but the template, everything, the buttons, everything's already there. You just go in there and edit it. It's super simple. And on this, once you set up your, well, first of all, this is only for those of you, let me make this, this clear. This is only for those of you that are looking to capture leads through Facebook advertising. If you're not looking to capture local leads through Facebook advertising, then this type of landing page, it's, it's not going to do anything for you. You're not going to need it because you're not going to, you're not going to pay. First of all, it's $99 a month. So it ain't for everybody, right? It's only for top producers that are looking to, to crush it, right? That's it. It ain't nothing else to it. But at $99 a month, we can create as many of these pages as we want. Open house, listing, buyer lead. Like I already have a ton of different funnels, but let's just start with this one. This is a listing. Um, but what I'm saying is that at $99 a month, if you decide to keep it, here's what, what it comes with. It comes with the landing page software. It comes with the calendar and it comes with the actual um, 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 email automation. That's what's super, super important. And I have it all set up for you. I have the entire funnel already set up for you, okay? And so the way you're gonna do it is you're gonna set up your 14-day trial. So you're gonna see you're gonna see a link to set up a 14-day trial and you're gonna just simply import the funnel. So all I want you to do is, is at least import it so you can at least fill it and touch it and see it and edit it and customize it and put your image versus this image. You need to get that feeling of it. You need to know what the heck landing pages are all about and how simple they all are, like how simple this is to build. Okay, simple. Okay, so, but I'm already providing the template. That's what I'm doing for you. The template, the, the, which is the landing page, the thank you page, all you're going to do is pop your own little video in there. Super simple to edit. And I'm also going to provide the calendar, the email list, and the email automation. Okay, so again, at $99 a month, those are the only three things I need to capture leads on social media. I need landing pages, I need an email autoresponder, and I need a calendar software. All three are in one. So I pay $99 a month. For, for that. And, and also, that video that goes on this thank you page, that's not a YouTube video. It can be, but that's a video that you will upload to Kartra, to the actual software. So it's also for your video hosting, okay? That's just like kind of like an added bonus. But as you, <clears throat> as you set up your 14-day trial, click the link below, set up your 14-day trial. If you're seeing this on YouTube, it's profitwithkartra.online. That link is in the description. But if you're getting this page and you're, you're, you're watching this from an actual page, you'll see the button right below. Set up the 14-day trial, and here's what you're going to do. Once you log in, once you log into the, to your actual dashboard, you're going to come down here to My Campaigns, okay? And you're going to see a share code right there below as well. So you'll see a share code. You're going to click on My Campaigns, and you're going to come over here to Available Campaigns, okay? You're going to click on available campaigns. You're going to click import this green button right here. You're going to click on import and you're going to enter that share code. That is it. I'm, the entire funnel is already done for you. It's already done for you. This one right here is for a listing. Once you set up this one, send me a message. Send me a message. Drop me a comment below. Send me a message. Reply to the email, whatever. Send me a message and say, hey, David, I set up my 14-day trial. I imported the share code what other funnels do you have for me? That's what I want you to write me, all right? Because I have, I have, a, I have a seller to, to find sellers. So we start running Facebook ads directly to our local area. We start doing these videos directly to our local area. When they click learn more, they go to another page, which is this one over here. And this is for, 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 for those that are gonna be giving away a seller guide. When you start capturing leads, if you don't have a listing or it's not an open house and you're just looking for buyers or sellers, one good thing to do is to offer a seller guide. 
or a buyer guide, a simple PDF with information on the process. That's it. What does it take to buy in 2020? What does it take to sell in 2020? This right here, 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Yep, it's free. I'll also send you a step-by-step -step plan to getting started. Get my 10 tips here. Boom. And right when that name and email is listed, send me your 10 tips. Your email autoresponder emails them a seller guide instantly. Now that lead is in your email autoresponder, which is all in this one software. Now that lead is in that email autoresponder getting automated emails over the next two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks, whatever, however many emails you want to put in there. But right away, that person gets that seller guide. It's a PDF. It's a download. Boom. It's instantly emailed to them. It, tomorrow, they get another email. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. I know yesterday you downloaded my free 2020 seller guide. Just wanted to introduce myself. Um, do you remember on page nine when I was talking about renovating your kitchen? Here's what I meant by it. Blah, 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 blah. And John, hey, if you have any other questions or if you're you know, looking to sell anytime soon, I'd love to see what your goals are. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule an appointment. I can't wait to talk to you, John. That's all in your automated emails as those emails go out for the next several days. That's how you follow up, man. That's how you crush it on social media. That's how you crush it with Facebook advertising. Okay. That's how you crush it in this specific business. Now, Everything I just went over are the exact, exact steps and tips and strategies for any business. So I don't care what kind of business you're building. In this case, I'm talking about real estate agents, but it could be anything. It could be anything. This could be a dentist getting me to download a free coupon, a coupon for a free teeth cleaning. This could be a yoga studio promoting a coupon for seven days free, a gym, a jujitsu gym, a boxing gym. This could be any type of local business, man, a restaurant. You're running ads, giving people a 25% discount on their next meal. And people are coming to one page, entering their name and email to download the coupon. And right when they click on the blue button, your email autoresponder instantly emails them a PDF. All on automation. And if you're a restaurant, now you're building an email list of people that you can email in the future more promotions. So it, it's the same strategy, man. And I use this one software for everything. So if you happen to be a real estate agent and you're watching this, import, cl click the link below, set up the 14-day trial and import the share code. And that's going to give you this first one over here, which you can easily customize. But the entire funnel is already there, you guys. That's how you sell homes, man. That's how you, you sell homes now, like today. We got a listing. Let's run a Facebook ad. Let's target everyone in our backyard and let's get them to give up their name and email. And, 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 and I know I said I, I'll end it here what I said already three times. Let me say it again. I'll end it here. The reason why I'm not asking for phone number is because we're not there yet. Look at this and put yourself in the shoes of the consumer. When's the last time you saw a cold ad for the very first time, clicked on it, and gave up all your information? Like very rare do consumers do that. I know the math. I know the statistics. Just consumer, at consumers as a whole on the internet. We're very, very, very unlikely to give up our, our phone number right away, but we'll give up our name and email all day. We'll get on 100 different lists if it fits our interest all day. So name and email is the first step. Once I get them in my, once I capture the lead and now they're in my email automation, then I'm shooting for the appointment. Then I'm shooting for more details, more, more, more conversation, more, more information in my emails. And again, if I'm smart, I'm going to set up 10, 12, 14 emails. I'm going to preset it. I'm going to pre pre type them out and I'm going to dump them in that email autoresponder. So I don't have to worry about it. I want to, I want to be able to run ads and then go on vacation because I have leads that are coming in and emails that are going out. Okay. And emails again, that have call to actions. Every email has a call to action. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time to talk. Can't wait to talk to you, John. If you guys aren't doing it that way, man, you guys are spinning your wheels over here going Facebook live. And so that's what I've been wanting to get off my chest for a very, very long time. You guys, very, very long time. Um, so again, it's either, it's either you're running lead generation because you don't have a page like that 
And again, lead generation, you can still capture a lead. It's just more steps. Now I got to take that email off of Facebook. Now I have to physically upload it into a CRM and hopefully I have an email autoresponder. There's just more steps. And if you're giving out a seller guide, like some type of free buyer guide, that's what you want to be doing. If you don't have a listing and you're running Facebook ads, offer them something of value. Give them a free digital download. A buyer guide or a seller guide is what you want to be doing. Or giving them a list of, of properties, right? And in that case, you would take them to a page like this. Let's say we were looking for buyers and we're running ads to our local area, doing video marketing, talking about the process of buying, and then asking people to click learn more to get their list, to get a, to get a pocket listing of homes that are on the market. And we send them to one page like this. They click on the blue button, send me the list. That's how you capture a lead, you guys. So I have a ton of these funnels already built for you. We're starting with the listing. For any of you guys that actually set it up, there's a 14-day trial. There's the share code. That's all you're going to do is come in here to the, to the Kartra account, click my, my campaigns to the left, click on all campaigns, and then enter that share code. And then you'll, you'll have this whole entire funnel imported. Let's start there. So for any of you that, that, are, that, are, that are promoting listings or that will have listings or shout out to my, shout out to my newest client, um, shout out to my friend, Wendy, Wendy with EXP. She is about to crush it, been in the industry forever and she is just fired up. She's fired up on social media marketing and running Facebook ads to her local area. But um, she's super fired up and, and, and she's, gonna be, she's gonna be doing a ton of, a ton of different ads. So what I'm gonna do is, is simply set up the 14-day trial, import the share code and let's start with this one, okay? Let's start with this one because I have a ton of other ones um, that, that, I mean, I could, I, could, I, could, I could flood you with all kinds of different funnels, you guys, and, and I don't wanna do that right now. So let's just keep it simple. Let's, yeah, I don't even wanna tell you about Wendy because she's, she's on a whole nother level. But this right here is basic stuff, you guys. Basic stuff that you wanna take advantage of in 2020. All right, you guys, so 14-day trial, click the link below. Um, share code is below. And if you're actually catching this on a web page, click the link below to schedule your best time. Let me do all this stuff for you if you really need me to, okay? Um, you'll see that link below, which will take you to my calendar where you could schedule a time to chat. And I can kind of walk you through this entire campaign and, 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 and really, really help you and, and take you to the next level. All right, guys, so um, import this one right there, and I'll see you on the next video. Over and out.